Silicon Angle and theCUBE's live coverage from South by Southwest is brought to you by Powered.com. Social media marketing evolved. For more information, go to www.powered.com. So there's Michael, he's over there doing stuff with the schedule, doing magic. We gotta update the schedule, right? We yeah. got a full day of broadcast tomorrow. Actually they aren't broadcast, they're tricast. The tricast. We gotta keep they're, going we keep calling them that. I know. I mean, uh, it's so great to have the new tech guys with us, uh, showcasing the new H D studio in a box. And uh, tomorrow's pretty exciting. We walked around with uh, Paul Terry Wallace from uh, Texas Co working and uh, talk about the, the Zappos bus. Now, this I was, wish my camera was working while we were was, on the Zappos bus. This was pretty amazing. So, you know, it's not every day that you, you know, the, the big guy from Zappos hands you a VIP pass. Yeah, see, here, let me get this yeah. close up on this thing. So, right there it is. Yeah. So, I am now officially a VHP. Very happy, very happy person, person. Right? Hey, I got a Coke. I was happy. Yeah. So, we were on the, the happy bus uh, from Zappos with uh, the Scobalizer, who will be joining us tomorrow. And then uh, Frank, Frank, Comcast Cares. Comcast Cares. Now here's a pretty interesting story, which I can't wait to get into uh, during tomorrow's streams. That, uh, you know, here's a guy who basically took his own, took it upon himself to start a answering questions. And if you want to do a, a uh, interesting search, do like cable, right? People are so upset. They're so angry. I mean, when they take the Twitter uh, about their their cable service, it's usually not good. Yeah, no. It's anytime you're going public with a a customer service story, much less with cable, it's, it's definitely a bad thing usually. And he taught, I think, a lot of companies of really how do you deal with this? One, it's transparency, and people just want a, a voice. They want to have a voice, and they want to know that their voice is heard. So we'll be talking with him tomorrow. With with? With Joe Jaffe, right? Joe Jaffe. With Jaffe Juice. Yeah, from uh, uh, Flip the Funnel. So he really talks about the what he believes is the new paradigm, the new shift in marketing, which is really just communication. Yeah, he's right? a smart fellow. Smart guy. So all that I, is coming up. I think it was a great first day. Yeah. Really. yeah. I, I, it was fun to see Leo Lepore walk around. With okay, so you gotta, you got to flip the camera around because i got to talk about Leo for a second. All right, now. So... This is pretty interesting. Risen had a true fanboy moment. Yeah, no okay. Let me talk about this. I'm going to describe it in detail. We're hanging out. What was the name of the place we were hanging out in front of? It was one of the parties. Yeah. Big set or something. So we're hanging out over there. Who's, who's standing there with Leo Laporte? And, and I'm just quietly hanging out in the background. And somebody says Risen. And he turns around and says hi and shakes my hand. He's like, you know. How you doing? Because he knows me from like I guess writing at Mashable. We've exchanged emails a few times. And, but I think is I've been following him since I was 14 years old when he was Dev Noel, that puppet on the site with Soledad O'Brien. And and I, I, I and so I'm sitting there quietly and he's chatting with Dane about this and that and they're talking about it and at, right as he's about to go, right about we're about to walk away. I can't remember which direction was things were going. I was like, look, I gotta say this, Leo. I've been a fan of you since I was a kid, and this is just, this is great, just finally getting to meet you in person. And he was so gracious, he's like, yeah, he's, he's Leo, right? So, I mean, I, I, this is like some momentous day in my life. So, the only thing you can top this, and Leo, if you're watching, is you gotta announce me before you announce one on Twit, if we get on Twit. If you don't have like some other crazy guests lined up, if I'm in the studio and on Twit, you gotta announce so I can win my bet be the first guy <laughs> out of our group on Twitter. So that's it. That's it. That would my life is complete right now. But that would be the only thing that could possibly make it better. You see this this is my face. You see this right here? Risen is smiling. Day one was a good thing. Day one was a good thing for me. And plus I got to talk with a bunch of cool people on the air. But uh, that just really capped it off. So 